So Brazil is in this dilemma. This is the challenge that faces Brazil. Brazil is where Chile was maybe 30 years ago. Brazil has just appointed a, a minister of economics who is a free market kind of Chicago boy. I think he was trained in Chicago. Brazil has an opportunity to rise up like Chile from an economic perspective. And let's really hope that they take advantage of that opportunity. The people in charge of the economy in Brazil right now are pretty good. The president, Bolsonaro, is weak. He's a, he's a nationalist, a collectivist, a, 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 not particularly a free market guy. But he has been sidelined for the most part. He has been sidelined for the most part in economics by the free market group. So Brazil really has a chance to succeed like Chile did economically. But what I'd like to see is that Brazil do more than that. That Brazil also adopt a moral view of free markets. Also adopt a philosophical, ideological view of free markets so that it is a one-way street towards liberalization and freedom rather than a pendulum which goes nowhere. What a Brazilian businessmen, all businessmen everywhere need is they need the moral certainty, the moral knowledge of the virtue of what they did, not the virtue of what they do because, just because it helps other people, but because what business is a manifestation of human reason in order to improve human survival it is virtuous not only because it helps the other but primarily because it helps self it is a manifestation of the application of your individual reason in solving the problem of survival for you and for others that's what makes business moral a moral activity That morality, that confidence in the virtue of capitalism, not only in its materialistic success, is what Brazil needs. Brazil needs an injection of Ayn Rand, an injection of, of, of the morality of capitalism in order not only to embrace the market system economically, but to embrace the market system morally and philosophically. And if it does... The upside in Brazil is massive, is massive. And I have to say that objectivism is doing very well in Brazil. The books are translated, Ayn Rand's books are translated in Brazil. They're selling quite well. There's a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. I get large audiences when I go to Brazil to talk about objectivism. Brazil might be one of the better places to be an objectivist. It might be primed right now to hear a voice of reason, to hear a moral voice defending capitalism and ethical foundation. So go Brazil. Is it safe? Somebody asked if it's safe to go to Brazil. You have to be alert. You have to know what you're doing. You have to be careful. There is still a problem of violence in Brazil. All right. Um, what we need today what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to iranbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com you're on book show and um and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going i'm not sure when the next